Hello, this is Michael Chang, and in this video, we're going to talk about the best strategy for the ACT science test. There's also a transcript below this video if you want to read it at your own pace. The ACT science test is the last section of the ACT, and the reason why many students think science is the most difficult section of the ACT is because it is by far the most rushed test out of them all. It is super important that you come into this test with a game plan for managing time, or else you'll simply run out of it. So, without further ado, here's the best three-step strategy for the ACT science test. Step number one, do the conflicting viewpoints passage last. The seven science passages will show up in a random order, but whenever you see the conflicting viewpoints passage, whether it's first, second, third, fourth, or whenever, skip it to do last. There are at least three reasons for doing this. First, the conflicting viewpoints passage is generally considered to be the toughest passage out of the seven, so you don't want to accidentally spend too much time on it before you get to the other easier passages. Second, the conflicting viewpoints passage is completely different in style than the other six passages, so it's better to get into the proper mindset for it last instead of interrupting your flow for the other six passages. And third, if you're able to finish the other six passages a little early, you'll be able to spend some extra time on this passage and hopefully do a little better on it. Step number two. For the data representation and research summary passages, read just enough to find out one piece of information before reading the questions. For the data representation passages, find the answer to this question. What is the basic topic of the tables and the charts, or the charts? And for the research summary passages, find the answer to this question. What is the basic topic and purpose of the experiment? The reason why we want to find the answers to these simple questions first is because they'll give us something basic to work with as we approach each question. Reading the questions first blindly can result in just utter confusion and frustration sometimes. So it's better to have at least, at least something to help orient us when we read the questions. But we don't want to read any more than this because for these passages, it's the questions that'll tell us what parts of the passages to look at and read. These six passages contain fact-based questions, which means we simply need to find the specific answers we're looking for, instead of reading and understanding every single part of the charts and the experiments. Step number three. Spend about four minutes on each data representation passage, about five minutes on each research summary passage, and about six minutes on the conflicting viewpoints passage. These time limits actually add up to only about 33 minutes, and you have 35 minutes on the science test. But if possible, it's always good to budget some extra time at the end to check over questions you either guessed on or were unsure about. The key for the ACT science test is to make sure you budget your time so that you can get to all seven of the passages. You don't want to miss any of the easy questions simply because you ran out of time before you could get to them. Therefore, make sure you stick very close to the time limits above, even if this means you have to make your best guess on a few questions to move on. But if you do this, circle the numbers of the questions that you had to guess on or you were unsure about so you can come back to them at the end uh, if you have some extra time. And remember, with the time limits above, you have about two minutes of buffer time. So you can spend a little longer on a passage if you really need to. But don't use this as an excuse for not finishing on time. So, now you know the basic strategy for approaching the science test. Like with the reading test, the key is to manage your time so you have time to work on all seven passages. You don't want to miss out on any of the easy questions because you ran out of time before you could get to them. Uh, so you want to do every passage and get to all the questions. Now that you know this strategy, it's time to go practice with as many ACT science tests as you can until doing them becomes second nature. With this strategy and constant practice, you'll be able to manage time effectively and maximize your score on the ACT science test.